today we are reacting to a video made by Hip Hop Madness. It's on a topic I think a lot of us feel. It hits me right here, and I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. How do you feel about this topic, which is why being a hip hop music producer sucks? It really does. I got some things to say my damn self. Let's get it. As a disclaimer here, this video is for fair use and I'm not trying to promote anybody to have any toxic behavior in the comment section. I do not control my audience, nor do I promote that type of behavior. But this is gonna be heartfelt here, cause R.I.P. Mac Miller. I didn't respond to Mac Miller. I never got the email. He never got the email. Minutes later. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ooh, damn, that escalated quickly, right? Dude, they got on this top. Now I ain't gonna even hold you. There's been some times where I've had some conflicts with people about tracks or whatnot and i'm telling you a lot of artists and stuff like that they'll act like they don't know who you are you can reach out to them and then and i'm not i'm talking about locals here not even like a big old star like mac miller was you know what i'm talking about bruh it be real out there man it be real in these streets sometimes you're gonna have to fight for your like physically fight for your rights in hip-hop and, and not just even hip hop. There's plenty of stories in other categories. And that was the whole, re all we wanted was him to put the cards on YouTube and now I just did it. And you could listen to him in the video say, I never got your email. Well, look at this. Mm. But I'm not looking for money, I'm not looking for anything. I just wanted to, to put, my cre like put my credits up. He goes, LOL, you'll get your credit pimp. Just relax and don't be so angry. Everything's cool. Tweet me, I'll put your credits on Twitter. And Imagine that you had a conversation with a person that you send a track to, they make an album or whatnot, and then you see on the liner notes that you don't have any credit, you reached out to them, and then you try to make amends with it, and then they still try to play you in your face like they don't even know what the hell is going on. Like, they actually talk to you. Bruh, that's crazy. Cite the dance floor before evolving into spitting about the harsh realities of life. There's a reason why rapping has been one of the four elements since its inception. But where graffitiing and breakdancing have fallen aside, the other key component which has evolved like no other is DJ. Mm. During hip hop's infancy, DJs would provide break beats that allow MCs to whip up the crowd into a frenzy. But once that spirit of the block parties was commercialized, it meant that the decks would have to take a back seat. At that point, sampling songs reigned supreme. Hey, With MPC. That, the concept of a hip hop producer or beat maker as we know them today was born. From Dr. Dre to Timbaland, Kanye West, and Pharrell, there's no shortage of those who provided the canvas for mm -hmm. our favorite artists. But make no mistake, simply downloading Fruity Loops, mastering Ableton, or even getting your track. I got a question for you, FL gang. Do y'all get upset when someone tries to play your face and say Fruity Loops? Does that really piss you off? I already know the answer to it, but leave a comment below. I remember when I was 100% a Fruity Loops producer, and when someone used to talk smack about it, I used to get a little bit triggered, or when they renamed the FL Studio, I would correct them, because I ain't, I ain't with that. I don't, I don't be on no none of that boy shit real talk in fact as some of the greats will admit there's a bunch of ways in which being a hip-hop producer kind of sucks a road so difficult that even a young prodigy like kanye west experienced significant barriers y'all gotta see that documentary i'm telling you it's inspirational it producer, which has meant that even the legends almost threw in the towel not least of all kanye west's mentor no id where rappers can assemble albums through contributions to big metro producers those behind the boards often rely on a hit song to make a decent living by consequence it often means that if you aren't somebody like mad lib or metro boomin who have people lining up to work with them then you're essentially at the mercy of rappers a regular mm. source of frustration for many producers tm88 who's what am i got everyone from rick ross to lil uzi vert vented his frustrations on the industry when he tweeted is it me or rappers don't support producers like producers support rappers i think two weeks ago me and tm88 had this a very same discussion about you know relationships with artists and trying to build relationships or whatnot because it's not necessarily about the placement but because you know the vast majority of the people that kind of hang out in these circles or whatnot i'm talking about the outsiders or whatever you guys y'all care about getting a placement with with anybody y'all y'all that's all y'all really care about the placement and it's really about having the relationship if you 
you want to do this like full time or whatnot. And I'm saying as someone that's a full time producer that hasn't produced a hit record, uh, I've had placements, I've gotten paid, you know, I've had a pretty decent career just built off of a relationship with uh, a local group. And the local group ended up blowing up a little bit. We kind of expanded our relationships in the industry. And that's the biggest kind of thing that a lot of you guys kind of miss out on. And I don't want you guys to, you know, feel like I'm trying to look down on you or anything, but I stress relationships. And that's why TM88 kind of said that because you can't, if you don't have a decent relationship with the artist, the chances of you continuously working or getting something accomplished is slim to none. This producers for charging what seemed like reasonable. I remember Soldier Boy did. made over half a million for the year. It can't be that bad outside. I'm trying to drop my project, but these are actually clearances and these producers is asking for some crazy I don't know what rumors is going around. They think like, oh, Bobby just dropping bags, this, this, that, whatever. I'm not giving no $10,000, $8,000 for no producer. So you know, you gotta love rappers. They're just walking contradictions of themselves. <laughs> I mean, if you ask this brother how much money he spent on cars, jewelry, women, houses, etc., etc., a lot of materialistic things, I bet you he'll say hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, I, I get it, it's nice to have things, but not investing in another person's work that will probably benefit you into making another hit, which he hasn't had in a while, right? And it's crazy because you hear women like Sexy Red, yes, the ski chick, talking about they get $50,000 from Drake or somebody like that, and it's just for them to have. But yet, these guys will hesitate to pay someone that is helping their career. That's crazy, right? And in comparison, we spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on equipment and different things to accommodate artists. And we are expected to work for free. Isn't that ironic? Isn't that crazy that we spend more money than artists on their own work their own craft that's wild right but i digress larger problems in that it's one of the few areas of the industry where people aren't always expected to be paid for their work and even mm -hmm. more shockingly those who have produced mega hits sometimes need to wait years to get paid an industry standard which mm. often means that a producer can receive a platinum plaque while flat broke two Damn. prime examples of it's this crazy. would be trap money benny and black and mild the producers of Drake's In My Feelings, who mm. didn't get their share of the pie until over 18 months later. You know, I'm so happy that I made the decision to just do content on YouTube versus trying to pursue a career in modern day music because there are so many damn loopholes and different ways that people can get away from paying you. It's crazy. I can only imagine uh, the vast majority. I remember, uh, well, I forgot that kid that produced that Old Town Road record, and he was talking about, you know, he, he didn't make any money from it because I remember the flex on Twitter. The flex on Twitter was great. I remember all the likes and retweets and stuff like that, and I'm like thinking to myself, I wonder if he even got paid, like, <laughs> on some real shit. Did he even get paid, bro? And I know the truth of the matter. Like, it, nine times out of ten, ten, you gotta wait for it, or you gotta sign some type of BS deal to get certain a certain kind of money that you owe them and be in the red and all that stuff bruh it's not worth it at the end of the day they can even have their contributions to some of the most groundbreaking projects in recent memory essentially wiped from the history books for example look no further than jimmy duvall the man behind look at me that very song that catapulted xxx tentacion to superstardom after X's passing, he sued the rapper's estate for over one million, saying that it's important to note that as the producer behind Look At Me, I was removed from all credits, which in turn meant that all rights and royalties owed to me were immediately averted. Bro, that's crazy. That being removed off of songs, trust me, I've experienced that. A template for a track can be stolen from under a producer's nose. Right. From J. Cole to Joey Badass, there's no shortage of artists. That's why I don't post shit on YouTube. Beats. While in the case of the legendary Pete Rock, he's been routinely relieved of the credit he deserves due to nothing more than the openness of his creative process. Mm. With notable examples ranging from A Tribe Called Quest's Jazz, We've Got, to one of the legendary Biggie hits. Puffy stole First off, Puffy can't catch a break this week. <laughs> he's having the worst month ever. This is the worst holiday season ever for Puff Daddy. But I like that for him because he, he deserves it at this point. You know, half what you normally do. I've seen it happen really more often in the last I think this years. is paying one anything to save a buck for these labels in the wake of his comments mm -hmm. DJ burn one revealed that he had a similar experience when it Burn came to one a legendary album tweeting 
RCA got us producers like this on the first Rocky album too. Ugh, I mean mixtape. That's why it's not on streaming sites. We gotta eat while they tour off our records. Bruh. Between accusations of beat jacking and the trickery they endure from labels, calls for a producer's union have been getting increasingly prominent. I remember Every that. person on the double XL cover should have had the producer of whatever song got them on the double XL cover with them on the cover. Sunny Digital tweeted, take the beats of these hits and what do we have? But while a union would advocate on the behalf of those who signed up, one issue is that it probably won't work as long as there are still impressionable kids out there. Right. There's always going to be some kid on SoundCloud or at home making beats for the first time that will bend or fold to certain circumstances. I was just saying that earlier. <laughs> it's always going to be one person that's going to be thirsty as hell. Thirsty, 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 wants to be praised and have all this credit and all this other stuff. And then is missing out on the business aspect of the music business. And then they'll turn around and they'll be on Twitter later after the fact, because I see that all the time, where first they post their R.I. Uh, double a plaque where they are talking about like yeah I'm, I'm platinum this that and the third and then once you ask them like you know they making money or something like that then they always say this exact same thing well not everybody but you know they'll say like oh I ain't got no bag or they'll come back on Twitter and rage and say like they ain't make no bag they ain't get them to the bag and all this other stuff and the game sucks and all that there should be some rules and guidelines in certain ways that you approach the industry but we're not doing that. Everybody wants the quick bag and stuff like that. Speaking of which, uh, the other big problem, I think, exists is the people that are hustlers. You know what I mean? And I don't want to uh, go there, but I'll be honest. Like, it was so easy for Timbaland and all the other cats that, you know, have their live streams or whatever to kind of navigate and build their, you know what I'm saying? Like, this man Timbaland don't need that. Like, he just did that just because. It was It's an easy lick. You know what I'm saying? What else could could be done in that aspect? But he did it. And then the people that really have the genuine side of them are the ones that's looked at as scammers. Like moi. Like, bro, I'm straightforward. I'm straightforward to the point. I'm going to tell you what it is. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Like, what, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, the link's in the description box. I didn't, I just wanted to highlight some of the biggest parts of that. Uh, do you think that being a hip hop producer sucks? Uh, I honestly think it does, and there is ways to kind of fix that, but it, it causes for people to be on the same accord. And the other thing, you know, they get into beat stars and start talking about that, but I think the most important thing is for you to develop your own platform. Uh, I mean, and I'm not trying to take away from beat stars or anything like that, or selling beats on a beat marketplace. It's just that, you know, you should put all your eggs in one basket. Either whether it be all on Beatstars or your own separate website or whatnot. But I do think Beatstars does a decent job of trying to, you know, make sure that you expand your wealth, your net worth. To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Make sure you subscribe. Again, how do you feel about being a hip hop producer? I want to hear from you guys. Honestly, this is a real thing here we definitely need to discuss this there needs to be more discussions and we need to follow some type of accord or something let's i mean let's let's get it for real